Every single month I make a video called the best way to make coins in FIFA 21. As it's a new month, this is going to be a video talking about the best ways to make coins in FIFA 21. Leds, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a massive, massive like on it. Like target has been smashed time and time again. We've had five likes, three likes. Let's go for six likes on this video. Massive one. And if you are new, please do drop a sub to the channel. But without further ado, Leds, let's get into this video. And as well, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use the code LE5CHEAP to get yourself a discount on your coins. Now, let's actually get into the video. So let's jump in over to the preview screen. It's been a while. To be honest, since I've done an out and out trading video, I think I did one maybe early last week or the week before. But this is going to be obviously, like I said, best way to make coins in FIFA 21. This is just going to be all of the methods, which in my opinion are the best methods at the minute. Now, this isn't going to be the same as what these videos normally are. It's usually a similar style every video, but trading methods have actually changed quite a bit. So make sure to watch until the end to find out everything. I've got low budget stuff, mid budget and high budget. So let's move into the first method. And whilst we're moving into that first method, let's I have made a clips channel. Obviously, I was actually quoted as to saying that clips channels would be dead in six months So I've jumped on the hype and made one myself So Leds, if you do want to go and check out the clips channel I uploaded a video on it last night Make sure to click the link in the description and I probably will be plugging this quite a bit So moving into the first method all the team of the season We've had SBCs pretty much every single day and the SBC content has actually been pretty decent besides the Premier League team of the season So a really good way to make coins at the minute is by club stocking This is your low budget method again You probably know about club stocking already and I wouldn't recommend this if you're on say like a million coins or something like that but if you're at a lower budget and you need to get to up to say a hundred thousand coins it's a really really good method you can go and use go to the top nine nations pick yourself any of these nations the ones that i personally prefer is germany france italy and spain now italy is probably the best one out of all of these go over to a position and you want to use center back for this and just find whatever the minimum price is of all gold common center backs from italy at the minute and go through and do some sniping now what you can do you've got two options you can either snipe at this price right here and try and sell on straight away or you can snipe at this price or maybe the tiniest bit lower and wait until we get an SBC so usually Italian center backs can go upwards of 900 coins on Xbox so what I could do if I wanted to was just go through all of these and just pick up all of them and as you can see we've just got a Caldara at 650 coins on the market currently this Caldara is currently going for around 900 coins but with a good SBC he could be going for a hell of a lot more so what I'm going to do for this first method I'm just going to wipe out all of these and I'm just going to do a bit of an investment and you can do this as well if you want to but I don't mind this price I'm going to be completely honest with you say these go to 900 coins I'm laughing if they go to any more I'm chuckling don't really know what I meant by that but let's move into the next method Moving into the next method, it's going to be talking about fodder. Now, if you don't know what fodder is, it's basically players who don't get into people's first teams, but they've got a decent rating, so they're used a lot for SBCs. Now, one really, really good example of this is going to be Fernandinho. Now, in my opinion, I think fodder is a really, really good player at the minute. Now, the earlier that you get in on fodder, the better. Now, one thing that I've found, and I am going to mention this, because obviously this video is going to stay up for the next month or so, and these methods are going to be applicable for the next month or so. So, if you come to this video now and I'm saying invest today, it might be a bit pointless say in a few days so what i've actually found with fodder is is the over the weekend when we get all the lightning rounds friday and saturday fodder goes ridiculously ridiculously cheap so fernandinho is a really good example of what fodder is he's currently 10,750 coins on the market but i just want to show you something on foot being really really quickly so just jumping over to fernandinho's price on the market currently as you'll be able to see his current price on xbox is 11,000 coins but if we go over to his hourly graph and go over to say like saturday time or something like that you will be able to see that he actually got Got really really cheap on Saturday at 8,700 coins there or thereabouts for the majority of the day and he was even lower overnight from Friday going into Saturday so fodder's a really really good player so what I'm going to do I'm going to give you three players that you can monitor and then just keep on top of their prices and what you need to do is find out when they're at the lowest and then sell when they're at the highest. Fernandinho is going to be the first one and like I said you need to find the lowest typically from what I've found so far it's Friday Saturday time during lightning rounds so I think when we get 50k packs 100k packs 125k packs go out do some sniping more towards the arse end of the lightning rounds is when they're 
at the cheapest. Another really good card to do this with is Philippe as well. And basically then what you're banking on is over the next week or so, over that team of the season period, is that we get an SBC that requires some of these cards. So you can see a Philippe here is popping up at 9,000 coins. And he's just sat on the market as well. So you can go and pick up people like Philippe. In addition to that as well, you've got another one who is going to be an 85 rated one in Langley. Now you can do this with any rating. To find those cards, you need to go and cheapest buy rating on Footbin. I'll leave a link in the description. And you basically need to find cards who are decent for fodder. Now Langley is a really, really good one. He actually got really, really cheap recently, but he's actually gone back up and he's not really at a price that I'm mega happy about. But he was down at like say 18,000 coins the other day. And this card usually goes to around 23, 24 with a decent SBC. There are thereabouts on Xbox. So they're going to be three cards who you can go and do this fodder method with. Once you've sort of mastered the method with those cards, you can then move into other areas. So higher rating or different positions or whatever it may be. But that's going to be the next best way to make coins in FIFA 21. Moving into the next method, it's going to be out of pack investing. Now, this method at the minute is absolutely ridiculous and it's all about finding the players before other people do. So, if we go and take a look at Sabitza, Sabitza is someone who's currently featured in the Bundesliga team of the season, which means that he's out of packs and he's been replaced by his team of the season card. So, when this happens, oh, this is ridiculous. When this happens, cards who are out of packs can go to ridiculously high prices, especially 83s at the minute with that one man SBC. 83s have gone ridiculously through the roof. Now, when he was in packs, this Sabitza was sitting around 3,000, 4,000 coins, there or thereabouts, and he's actually gone up by double his price. Now, basically, what you need to do is find players who are going to be going out of packs as a result of Team of the Season or from Team of the Week. So, the next Team of the Seasons that we're going to be having is the Liga Nos tonight, so you can find some players, and we're going to have a look at some players that you could do this with. And we've got Serie A on Friday as well. Now, in terms of finding the schedule for what's going to be released next, what you need to do is just jump over to this player tab right here you want to go over to foot champions and then what you need to do is go over to the schedule for foot champions so as you can see here this is going to be the next one which is coming up and you can just click on it and if you take a look it does say Serie A team of the season pack which means that it's going to be the Serie A tots next and then you can go to this one as well and it looks like it's going to be the league and so we know that we've got Serie A and league and as the next team of the seasons and you can literally just find this by looking in the game so I'm personally going to do some hour pack investing now only go and spend as much as you can afford to lose I'm not saying that these these players are definitely going to get in. These are the ones that I'm going to be taking my chances on. Sell when you're happy with the profit. I'm going to be selling at a... <laughs> I don't know, a, a, a largely inflated price. Now, the first player I'm going to be taking a look at is going to be Sebastian Coates. Now, on the market currently, he's currently chilling at around 1.5k. Now, I'm going to be putting quite a few coins into this because when he's been out of packs before, his card has gone to ridiculously high prices. So, this is his price on Footbin currently and he has had a team of the week. And as you can see right here, when he was out of packs last time, he started off here around Wednesday time and then instantly shot up over Thursday, Friday and he went to a ridiculously high price. And he does go to a pretty high price anyway with the right SBC. On Xbox, he's been 2k before. So if I put in at 1.5k and buy like 100 of them at 150k, I could potentially be making 50k back on that card, which pretty ridiculous to be honest. So I've gone and filled up my transfer list with loads of different players. So by all means, you can go and try and invest in these if you want to, if you can get the prices at a cheap enough cost. Please do bear in mind though that I've recorded this video about two hours before you've seen it. So the prices will be a bit skew with. So Pepe paid around 2.1k for. In addition to that as well, I've gone and picked up some Coronas at around 6.7k and I've also got Grimaldos as well at 8k, I think it was for Grimaldo. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 8k for Grimaldo and then Pepe, I think, is the one I showed you. So, that's what you can do. Also, in addition to that as well, like I said, we will have Serie A. So, I'm going to give you a player who I think will get in personally. And it's going to be Chucky Lozano. So, I think Lozano will be a pretty decent investment. As you can see, he's pretty pretty inflated at the minute. He's around 2.2k. And during Squad Battle Rewards last night, he was around 1.5k. But, I'm just going to invest in him anyway. And I'm just going to hope that I can recoup some of the cost. It'd probably be like maybe a two-week wait or something like that. And you can probably go back in on Rewards Day as well. But, from now... Now, until rewards day, if we get any SPCs, there might be a window to sell him. So that's the main reason why I'm buying now. So there you go. That's going to be out of pack investing. Let's jump into the next method. So the final method is going to be talking about basically trading with cards who get into people's teams as a result to all the team of the season content that we've had. So at the minute, it's Monday. It's a pretty chilling day on the market. And what's going to happen from now until Thursday is that there's going to be a gradual rise. There might be some dips along the way, obviously, with different SPCs or 
maybe we get a casino SBC in the market just plummets but in my opinion I think that there could be some cards who are pretty good to go and invest in for Thursday flips now I'm going to use Mbabu as the example here as you know it's Bundesliga team of the season at the minute so what's going to happen is all throughout the week EA are going to release loads of content we're going to get guaranteed Bundesliga we're just going to get basically every opportunity to get Bundesliga team of the season into people's teams and what happens is is that people go and do some packs and then once they've opened the packs they'll have say a decent basis to start a team with then when it comes to Thursday time when they get a coin injection from Div Rivals Foot Champions or whatever it may be moving into the weekend is that they need to go and finish the teams off so what's going to happen is that people will start to pick up cards who fit into their team to sort of finish it off now right backs and left backs usually do pretty well if you take a look at Bichichi I think that's how you pronounce his name Bichichi his price did really, really well last week. So just taking a look at his price on Footbin, his price was ridiculous last week. So we're just going to scroll down just a tiny bit, and I just want to show you this gradual rise. So Monday last week on the 10th, seven days ago, so a similar scenario to what we're in now, he went from 96k all the way up to, on Friday, 144k as a result of people finishing off the team. So like I said, they'll build the teams, and this is what people did last week for La Liga, and then they'll need like a left back or a right back or a striker maybe, and they'll go and pick them up just to, finish off the teams but usually people will go for like left backs and right backs because they're not really the best position in the world so they don't really mind who they put in there and his price pretty much speaks for itself. My girlfriend's also an entrepreneur. She sells vitamins and supplements. Keyword sells. GNC. You heard of it? So I'm going to use the Mbabu for this example. I think he could be one who could rise pretty well around Friday and Saturday time. So I'm looking at picking him up now, but I'm not mega keen on these prices on Xbox or on PlayStation. So yesterday on Xbox, he was going for like 150k. And you can see here, he's going for 170. And on PlayStation as well, he's going for like 193. So I don't think he's going to go back to 150. I think for this card, if I could get him under 160k, I think it'd be a pretty decent deal. Realistically, it would be a pretty decent deal. I'm not too sure how much he could go to but I think it would be a decent deal and on PlayStation I think around the 200,000 coin mark and again if you've got a high budget this method is perfect for you but you can see at the minute that there's not really anything chilling at 160k and there's not even any bids coming in anytime soon as well so this is going to be the final method it's going to be one which you do need a bit of experience for and it's a very very risky method as well but I hope that you boys did enjoy this video if you did please do drop a like on it I'm going to be doing quite a bit of investing I think because I'm not really going to be on the game too much tonight so i want to just get invested in as much as i can do and just go from there but let's hope that you did enjoy this video this has been the best way to make coins in fifa 21 as always drop a like on it subscribe if you're new comment down below if you need help anything but it's 26 lewis and i'm off goodbye